Do you believe in reparations? No. Nah. Only because I just don't believe in fairy tales that aren't going to come true. And so uh, why waste my energy on, on, on something like that that's not going to happen? Uh, and again, I, I don't, I don't, our relationship with God is most important. We get that together, most of the, uh, a lot of these problems dissipate okay. very, very quickly. Do we, okay, do we have to have political, do, do we have to have, what weighs more? Religious practices or political power in America? Religious practices. Uh, you know, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say or Christianity or Christianity, Christianity practices. If that's the well, no, I, I would say more. If, if you follow the teachings in the Bible, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that's more important than following the teachings of Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, any of that bullshit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the civil, see, 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 that's where the problem lies because if we just focus on that, we pray when someone gets assassinated. No, no, we don't. We, you know, okay, so let's talk about this. So what do we do when when Ahmad when that when something happens to Ahmad Arbery? We organize uh again, some of what the, again th that's why you didn't hear me. There was a bunch of celebrities that mm -hmm. tweeted out things about Ahmad Arbery. I didn't criticize any of them because none of them went the route that uh LeBron James did that I could see. And so you organize, raise awareness around it. I would stick to the truth. I would have never uh, went with this whole story of, oh, he's just a jogger and blah, blah, blah. Because I don't care what Ahmad Murray was doing in that construction site or mm -hmm. in that neighborhood. He did not deserve to be killed. He, sure. he didn't do anything that warranted him being killed. So just stick to the truth and organize, draw attention to it, put some political pressure on it. And that's what made them react and get the GBI in there and, and, and charges. But 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 what I would say, and, and justice for Ahmaud Arbery is important. Yes. Yeah, but, but we all know, we all know for young black men in terms of violent death and being harmed by violent behavior, how we feel and engage and interact with each other is more important. And will do more to bring safety and the ability to build economic bases in our community. If the violence amongst ourselves goes down, it becomes easier to have businesses in our community. And I say that because my father had a business in our community, in Indianapolis, in the inner city, his entire life. Mm -hmm. And you reduce the violence among ourselves those businesses prosper and you can build your own economic base uh, in your own community and be less impacted by racism. We can operate the way other ethnic groups and racial groups operate, but right now we don't. Yeah, but if we agree to that, then then little little white Johnny does the same crime as, as black Tyrone. Tyrone gets seven years, Johnny gets probation. Or not even charged. You see what I'm saying? Like six, 74 days and they had the evidence. You understand? And and and, and that seems to be a reoccurring theme. So, so, so if we just go straight across the board. See, I, I believe there's truth to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I, there's truth to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And however, I would just say that trust me, they can have great. No, you gotta wait. Let, let him finish. I'll let him finish his thought. I'll bring you in. I'll bring you in. There, there's, there's, let's say there's three white people having a Zoom conversation, mm. and they could point to cases where they think injustices have happened, where black people got out, and they'd start with O.J. Simpson, and they point to they point to this example or that example, blah blah blah, 
And so, where are you from, Jason? Where I'm from Indianapolis. Oh, you're from Indianapolis. Okay, well, I can hear your your little country swing with some of the words you be saying. But so. I get it. The criminal justice system is really messy and complicated. And we can Monday morning quarterback the criminal justice system forever and find contradictions and can go a thousand different directions. We can. I just think we're better served working on ourselves, working again, it was if our own communities are strong, mm -hmm. and again, if they're strong, the police answer to us. Sure. And and so those are the real solutions. But again, they don't get a lot of traction over social media and things like that. Go ahead, Triple OG. Seven five seven. Okay. All right. Hello, Brianna. Hello, Jason. And what's up, King? How you doing? I I was sitting here listening till I heard Asia, and I said, "Here we go again." Why do I need to look at an Asian when they brought them over here? They got them together. They financed them with our tax dollars. When they brought, they ain't just came over here and moved over here because they used to do the railroads back in the day. So we didn't have some history. They've, they've had history. They did the same thing to the Koreans. They got them set up with tax dollars. Nobody has been here as long as black people. Now, I'm not a, I'm a descendant of slaves, but I've been here longer than African-American. I'm not an African-American. I'm a black Giancawa of Nottoway in Southampton County and have to be, happen to be mixed with Nat Turner. He's part of my lineage. I don't need to look at any agents to see what they're doing. They enslave their own people right here. They do all kind of stuff. I don't need to look and see how they get along because what you see is not what you really see. You have to go to New York and see what's going on. It looks pretty. Chinatown. <laughs> they didn't buy Chinatown. It was given to them. And they're renting from them Jews. Whatever they own is not much. But nobody has been a bottom cast like us since we've been here. And I think I heard him say that. Just getting us together, it's not going to work. It's going to have to be political. It's got to be political. We are bottom cast from the start. You commit a petty crime, the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment, it says you become a slave again. When emancipa after emancipation, they started slavery by another name with that prison industrial stuff where they were just grabbing black people, putting them in prison, working for free for another 80 years. I saw this on the PBS channel. I already knew about it, but it was nice to see it. So, no, when you are just a bottom cast and you wonder why the hell something might be wrong with us, it may not be wrong with you. But I hear you keep talking about God. God, didn't God tell him Moses take his people out away from Pharaoh? I assume that was a black or white thing or whatever. Um, God also, now, working on your weight and everything, it's kind of healthy to have stayed healthy. And I see you working on yourself on that. And that might be a little critical. And I see you good at that. But I ain't asking, I ain't asking no questions, so you can just listen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you stick with your plan because I saw when somebody put a little pressure on you, you don't want to deal with it. Whatever your daddy did to you, that worked for you. That don't work for us. What my daddy did, what my grandmother did, and my mother's 93 years old, I still got to critique her on God. People are taking all her damn money. Shouldn't take old people's money from church. Now, I give her money, but I told you, keep, keep giving them folks $200. Don't come back and ask me no more money, and I love you. <laughs> don't want it anymore. They, she should go to church for free. That's <laughs> for free. <laughs> yeah, she should go to church for free. Uh, now God calls money. 
Now, I heard, I, I heard you say you were single. And I, I'm telling you, you look a little angry to me, but I don't think you would tell us deep down inside what's really going on. Because your life can't be that wonderful. It can't be that wonderful. It can't be that wonderful. Food was your best friend. Now you're working on it, and I and I hope you success with it. Now I'm out. I'm back in the chat, man. Thirty seconds. Hey, Big Jason. No, I, I I don't. One, he didn't have a question. He made some. 